oh, it's my favorite color, and it sparkles like I sparkle. It's a reminder in my Bible from my mama bird. And it says, this is just a little reminder from someone who can't, can't help noticing, but you shine. It may not always feel like it or like you're making a difference, but don't worry, you are. Just being you and doing what you do and letting God use you. And on the inside, there's a scripture. 2 Corinthians 3.18 As the Spirit of the Lord works within us, we become more and more like Him and reflect His glory. I keep this with me for a reminder. And also my bookmark that says, This is the day that the Lord has made. Will you pray with me one more time? Dear Heavenly Father, send your Holy Spirit to be with me now as I speak. And may the people see you standing up here and not me. In Jesus' precious and holy name, amen. I apologize that there was no children's story, but let me tell you, um, Little children, never let your light go out. Always remember the song you sang, This Little Light of Mine. Today I don't have a sermon. Um, I have a short story because, you know, I believe in being short, sweet, and to the point. And, and I told Miss Lula that the ears can only absorb, the ear can only absorb what the seat can endure, so... So I, I hope that you get a blessing out of my story. Um, and during the story, you'll probably figure out who the little girl is. Once upon a time, there was a little girl who, when she was two years old, she was in the hospital. They were trying to find out what was wrong with her. And the doctors found out this little girl's having the grand mal seizures and had to be put on medication. She took medication three times a day, phenobarbital, mysoline, silentin, and dilentin. So her mother never let her spend the night off, and Pathfinders was out of the question because her mother wanted to make sure she took her medicine. About the time she was 12 or 13, she met a woman named Ramona Elliott. And the two became great friends right away. Some people said they were like sisters. Another one said they were like peas and carrots. You never saw one without the other. Well, as the little girl spent time with Ramona, she got introduced to a new group of people at Southside Church. And she grew up and was active with these people. Some of these people are here today. And we spent a lot of time at their apartment, Frank and Mama Ruby. And we weren't just a church, we were a family. So the mother decided to switch churches from Cascade Road and go to Atlanta Southside and let the little girl join Pathfinders. I was 13 years old. When I was 15 years old, I became a junior counselor and I worked in Pathfinders for 22 years. So that's why I do wear old lady glasses. I'm not quite as young as I was then. But you see, it's all because this one woman let her light shine. She passed it on. A light, your light radiates from within. 
and a light shines your way on a pathway. I don't know how many of you have been camping, but when it's dark and you don't have a flashlight, it's very hard to get around. This woman shined her light in the Southside Church as well as captured my heart. Now, if you'll turn with me, please, to um, Matthew chapter 5. Matthew chapter 5, verses 14 through 16. I'll give you a second just to find that. I had mine marked, so I wouldn't fumble around as much. Matthew chapter 5, verse 14 through 16. You are a light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden, nor do they light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a lampstand, and it gives light to all who are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. My Bible has a, it's Ellen White comments, and I would like to share what she says. This is found in Desire of Ages, page 307. True character is not shaped from without and put on. It radiates from within. If we wish to direct others in the path of righteousness, the principles of righteousness must be enshrined in our own hearts. Our profession of faith may proclaim the theory of religion, but it's our practical piety that holds forth the word of truth, the consistent life, the holy conversion, the unswerving integrity, and active benevolent spirit the godly example. These are mediums through which light is conveyed to the world. We have only one candle in this life that we are given. Go with me now to Ephesians 5, 8. Ephesians 5, 8. In my Bible, the places are highlighted to tell you what the verses are talking about. Starting in verse 8, that is talking about how we should walk in the light. But I wanted to share with you Ephesians 5, verse 8. For you were once, for you were once darkness, but now you are light in the world. Walk as children of light. Again, I told you my message was short. I think this is our lamp to light our way. Now we have the Ramies coming up to do our closing song and then our pastor will have our benediction.